Let's pretend you know nothing about Dragon Ball. If I were to ask you out of these three guys, who is the strongest based on looks alone, who would you choose? Strength has always been synonymous with Dragon Ball, however the difference between strength back then and the strength we are seeing now is that, and I never thought I'd actually be saying this, but Dragon Ball Z characters are weak. The power gap between DBZ and DBS is huge. And the reasoning behind this massive increase in power is mainly due to the introduction of new gods. Dragon Ball lately has introduced so many new gods, and right now there's only 5 that are really showing us how strong these characters can be. This first god, we've known him for the past few months, he's small, he's green, and he hates you all, introducing Zamasu. Now if you've stopped watching Dragon Ball Super and the last thing you saw was Goku fighting Zamasu in his regular Super Saiyan form, let's just say a lot has changed since then and he is a future immortal. And since absolutely no one cares about Garlic Jr, he is the first actual immortal in Dragon Ball canon. Zamasu is nowhere near the strongest god that we've been introduced to, but he's immortal, so he'll be around forever. The only way to get rid of an immortal is to cut him up into tiny little pieces. Since Zamasu doesn't regenerate, or at least I don't think, the next god in line is an actual god, or should I say, he's a priest, the Grand Priest who looks a lot like Whis, but once upon a time I made a video as everybody knows at this point, Whis is the pinnacle of Dragon Ball Z. He is at the top. There hasn't been a being so far that can even come close to Whis. And after reading through comments like, where's Black Goku and have you heard of Zeno? Obviously what I said one year ago in relation to the strongest Dragon Ball characters is completely outdated and ordinarily enough, we have the new strongest of all. There are supposed to be five. Five beings throughout the multiverse who are said to be the new pinnacle. Right now we only know two of five. He is known as the Grand Priest. No one knows his real name or if he even has one or anything else about him. He is used as more of an escort for anyone who wants to meet up with Zeno. A common theory is that he actually creates the Whis life form. And because the Whis race can control time to a limited extent, the Grand Priest could have complete mastery over the element of time itself. Moving on to the next one, and I don't know if you want to call them gods, but Zeno's bodyguards. I hear no one talk about these guys, but out of the five strongest in the universe, you would think that these attendants would have to be somewhere close to the top. Zeno, the universe's strongest man, baby, child, honestly can't tell. For real though, this guy is the new pinnacle, and as many gods as Dragon Ball likes to throw at us, none have been as dangerous threatening and unstable as Zeno. There was once 18 universes in Dragon Ball, Zeno got upset one day, now we're left with 12. But for as strong as Zeno is, and now how he's set the benchmark for gods to come, I can't help but think that there's going to be someone stronger. Maybe it's his parents, maybe it's Black Goku, or maybe it's normal Goku. Either way, the gods of Dragon Ball have changed drastically. The first god we ever saw was Kami, and he was all serious. The next god we see is King Kai, and he's all about jokes. It honestly feels like the less the gods care, the stronger they are. I doubt we are going to see another intense, serious god that would be stronger than Zeno. So the most important thing right now is that god has a new form.